Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for this video I put a poll on my Twitter and even if I only got one vote, my one vote told me that this is the video I needed to post today. By the way, if you want any input on the videos I do post, you can follow my Twitter. I'll stick it right there. And um, sometimes if I'm kind of stuck or I have a few things and I can't decide, I will ask my followers opinions on what they want to see next. And the consensus was the Kathleen Lott's ColourPop Dream Street Collection. This is still relatively new. I know there's a thousand reviews for it already, but this is mine. So uh, I'm going to give y'all swatches, I'm going to give y'all opinions, I'm going to give you a tutorial, and then my final thoughts. Uh, this is the look that I created today. Um, I mean, I think it looks pretty good, and if you think it looks good, keep watching. But uh, yeah, so that is the Kathleen Lights. And just to give you a quick look, the palette opens up, and these are the colors you get. It's got a good arrangement of neutrals with a few pops of color, shimmers and mattes, all that good stuff. And there was a lip trio. You get two satin lips and a glossy lip. You get a bright, your bright satins on top, your more uh, kind of nude satin is on the bottom, and your gloss is in the middle. And what I have on right now is this bright satin. Definitely very pretty. So that is the collection. <clears throat> if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red button and hit that bell. And uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see reviewed next. And let me know if you have this collection and what you think of it. And if you have some videos, tell me down below. I would love to check out some other looks for this palette. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you your swatches for your eyeshadow palette. Okay, so here we've got the palette swatches, and you've got your first row, two neutrals, two shimmers. Your next row's got this really pretty gold shimmer here, your two bright pops, and an orange color, kind of burnt. And then you've got these two light shimmers that would be great for inner corner brow bone. You've got your dark brown, and this is our uh, super interesting kind of emerald shimmer here. They're all super pigmented went on really well yeah so that's the swatches and then here's some of the lip products okay so here we have the three lip colors from the collection first is Revere which they're calling Rev this is just like a bright orangey red it's an ultra satin then we have Dreamy this is an ultra satin too it's got a really nude kind of dark feel to it and then we have the ultra glossy moon child that everybody is going absolutely crazy for. I layered it up a little bit here, but it's just a really nice uh, nude gloss. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna jump straight into the tutorial and uh, I hope y'all enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's get to this look. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just hop into this second shadow right here, and that's Magical. And I know that Kathleen really intended this to be like a really good transition shade. So I'm just going to pop it right in here for that purpose. Okay, so now that I've got that in there... I want to take this shade right here. This is called Potion, and I'm just going to put that in my crease also. This is kind of a burnt orange. Okay, so that is in there. We are just going to take this brown right here. This is called elfish. We're just going to put this in the outer corner to deepen up and define that crease a little bit. Okay, so that is that for this part of the look. 
And since I'm just going to go kind of natural today, I want to grab this color right here. This is called Mermaid Boy, and it's got this really just kind of unique switch to it. I don't quite know how to explain it, but I'm just going to lay that down all over the lid. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of this gold right here. It comes off really light when you swatch it, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner and my brow bone. Okay, and I... Uh, I know y'all didn't think that we were about to do this look without a single pop of color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this blue right here. It's called Water Bearer. And I'm just going to put that really tight in my lower lash line just to give this a little pop of a color. So I'm going to finish my eyes out real quick and I'll be right back for the lip. Okay guys, so I'm back for the lip and since I went a little more natural on the eyes, I am going to test out the brightest of the bright colors. I'm actually a little bit scared of this color, but I've been really curious to try it out and just kind of see how it would look. So I'm going to put this on real quick and see how it goes. Okay guys, so uh, I actually really think I like this lip. Like I always say, um, I don't know if I would recommend this for work but it's definitely super pretty it is a very good color um and when you factor in that both of the other two colors are extremely wearable that just makes this even better so uh this is revere or rever or rev if you're everybody else who can't say it because i can't really say it so this is rev and i think it looks really good if you do kind of a neutral and toss a bold lip on with it or if you're me and you don't listen to beauty rules and you just go bold on your eyes and your lips because I do that a lot. So that is my usual, but I decided to be a little more traditional today. But uh, that is the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Dream Street Collection. Uh, final thoughts. I think that the lippies are form formulated really well, which it's ColourPop. We already know that the formulas are amazing. I think... The palette itself, it's pretty unique. Um, you know, yeah, it's got a whole lot of neutrals in it through here, but you still get your little pops of color. This is almost like hollow-ish. Please don't jump me. I know it's not hollow, but it gives me that kind of vibe. So you get some different things to play with in here. And I feel like the packaging is super cute. Kathleen did a super good job with this. But, uh, yeah, so I just feel like this is a really good collection. I feel like it's definitely worth your money. Personally, I'm a huge fan of Kathleen Lotz, so, you know, I'm going to buy this to support her, but it's also an amazing collection. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye, you guys.